All right, so in this tutorial, we're just going to be creating a custom half modal. So the half modal that we're trying to create essentially will look like this. This is from a, a request or someone needed some help on Reddit. So this is what we're trying to make here. All right. And so the way we're going to do it is actually, um, I'm going to start by talking about creating half modal. So I actually created a whole tutorial about half modals. And the link for that tutorial is going to be in the description. You're welcome to go watch that link, or you can just go and download the actual files that were the end product of that tutorial and drag and drop them just as I will in this tutorial, okay? So we're going to create a single view app, okay? We're going to call this one custom, oh, sorry, code tutorial underscore custom action sheet, okay? And then I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to say new folder code tutorial underscore custom action sheet, okay? Then, well, I'm going to actually, let me go inside. Ah, oh, we already started, so I'm going to do the same, sorry. Code tutorial custom action sheet reddit, I'm going to name it that, okay? I'm going to go inside, I'm going to create it, okay? And then once this file gets created, what you're going to do is you're going to go to chrisgurgis.com, okay, slash, and you're going to intermediate tutorial files. And then you're going to download the half modal tutorial archive, okay? And when you open that, what you should see is the drag and drop file folder. You're going to grab the half modal underscore v3 and the keyboard aware modifier. And you're going to drag them into your project, okay? So you're going to drag them right underneath the content view there. Okay, and so now we can go to content view and we need to create a few different things, okay? So, if we look at what we're making, what we're making is this. So you'll be able to click on hello world and I can say anything, I can say tomato. I'll add the filter and now it's added to the list of filters. I'll create another one, I'll say, uh, let's say it says Alfredo, okay? Boom, okay, and it just keeps adding and adding. So the way that was made was with the following things. We need to create three state variables, okay? So we're going to create a state variable called is shown. It's going to be set equal to false. Text field val, which is equal to nothing. And filters, which will be an array of strings and will be equal to an empty array. Okay. And then inside here, we need to create two things. We need to create a Z stack. Okay. And the Z stack will have a V stack. And it'll have a half modal view. Okay. And we're going to use all these things. We're going to say is shown will be bound to is shown. Okay, the color, we'll make it dot clear. The modal height, uh, we're not actually going to end up using that one. We'll just ignore that one. Okay. And then the content, we're going to just come here and declare its content like so. Okay. And so inside this V stack, we're going to have two things. We're going to have a button okay, with an action. And its contents will be a text that says create new filter. Okay, and on top of it we'll have a text and the text will say filters equal and then it'll be filters dot uh, description. All right, and then inside this half model, let's look at what we had set up in the other one during the process of making this, okay? So essentially what we created is a text field. If I, if I look at this, click on it, it's a text field and two buttons, okay? So what I'm creating is first the text field. So we'll go here and we'll say inside that we have text field. Okay, in the text field, its placeholder is gonna say sub reddit as requested, all right? And then it'll be bound to self dot text field val, okay? And just remember, we're creating, well, this also needs to be uh, is shown like that. But we, where I can put this in a VStack, so we can have all three items, okay? I'm gonna get rid of these panes so I can see better. All right. And then the next two items are just gonna be two buttons, okay? So I'm gonna create first button, okay? And then action. And then I'm gonna create a second button. First one's gonna say, add filter. The second one is gonna say, okay, cancel. All right, and then I'm going to resume. Let's see what we got so far. 
then while that's getting ready, the only thing left here realistically, once I hit play, is I just need to style it. So we have all the pieces here. So let's go ahead and take a look. What we got, ah yes, this button here needs to toggle it. So we'll say is self dot is shown dot toggle. Okay, so now I click it. Here they are, we have the, the, um, the text field and two buttons, okay? Okay, so now that all of our components are on the screen, we just need to style it and set the different functions. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function called hide modal, okay? And so we're gonna go down here, we're still within the structure of content view. And I'm gonna say func, hide modal, and we're not gonna use empty modal. So this is a variable I put in here for future use if you wanna expand it. Essentially, this is just saying that uh, it has a default value of true, and it's saying that every time this is true, um, as long as this is true, you're going to set the text field value equal to nothing again. So that way it clears out every single time that you dismiss the modal. Okay. Um, and if you want to make that, if you want to make that false, all you have to do is actually use that parameter or, you know, uh, really write that parameter out when you use the high modal function. Okay. So, uh, inside the high modal function is the self dot is shown toggle. So that will we'll just even just say, we'll just say is equal to false. And then you'll say UI application .share .end editing, So that'll hide any um, keyboards that might be open. So in case you, in this given exact scenario, we have a text field. So that can flip up when you're using something other than the simulator, when you're actually using a real device. Then we have if empty modal text field value. So that's just emptying the text field every time that it hides, okay? So the, the cancel button, its action should be hide self dot hide modal. And then the action for add filter, its action first it'll end with hide modal. So the first thing it'll do is it'll say if text field val uh, not equal to uh, nothing, and then filters self dot filters. This should probably also be self dot dot filters dot append text field val. So that's just saying uh, that that's just saying essentially as long as the filter is not completely empty then add the filter to the uh, list of filters so to this array. All right and then from a styling aspect we need to do a few things. So I went ahead and styled it in advance. If we look at the text field you, what you're going to want to do is we have a few different things happening. We set a frame so we're setting a height and then we're padding it and then we're making the background of that white. And then we're putting an outer rim. We're padding that again with a padding of 10. And then we're putting um, another background rim of a rect rounded rectangle that's slightly light gray. So that is how we approach the, so if you look right here, this is what was requested. This is almost like a dark mode view. And we're creating the light mode view. So that looks like this, all right? And so I'm going to copy those over and we'll just walk through each of them really quick. Copy. All right, we have dot frame of height 30. Then we do our padding. We put top eight and then leading and trailing of 10 and bottom of eight. And then we're gonna put the rounded rectangle that's white and then the padding again and then the rounded rectangle that's light gray. So that's how we style the text, the text field. And then what we wanna do now is we want to style the two buttons together. And so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put the two buttons inside of a V stack so if I put the two buttons inside of a VStack, I'm going to, there we go. And then I'm going to re-indent everything, make sure everything is at the proper levels. And then for that VStack, that, that, in, that inner VStack, we're going to say, we're going to put a few different things. We're going to, if we look here, if we look at the one we already did. So we have a font, we're going to put system size of 25. We're going to give it a light gray background and a corner radius of 20. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So let's hit resume. Let's see what we have so far. So even if it's a little ugly right now, it actually should still be fully functional. Let's create a new filter. Yeah, it is. Sure enough, it's still fully functional. All right, I want to make sure that this um, V stack that's inside has a spacing of zero. And I want to put a rectangle between the two of them. Rectangle. And we'll say dot frame height of one. That way it's just a little divider. And the reason I like to use the rectangle is it actually expands the entire thing to the width of the screen. And then I'll say foreground color. Uh, I think I used 0 0.7, so we'll just say white. 
So this, I can even just say color dot init. And actually you can use dot white 0 0.9. It's a cleaner way to do it. And so we're going to do the same thing. So dot init 0 0.7. I need white 0.7. So let's save it, then we'll let it refresh. Create a new filter. Just refresh it. There we go. All right, there we go. And the next thing we want to do is let's look at the formatting for these. Each of these buttons just needs, we need to make sure we give it a frame height of 70. All right, so we're going to go and give each one a frame height of 70. And then resume and see what it does. Actually, that's the old one, sorry. So the frame height of 70, we go here. That's looking pretty darn close, all right? And the last piece we need to do is say dot foreground color dot red. And that's for the cancel button. So now I can come here, I can say, uh, let's put anything here, potato. Add filter, Alfreda, add filter. This one we can just hide it. All right, and that's it. Now let's try to add nothing. It doesn't add it. All right, so there's the fully functional uh, kind of custom action sheet. If you have any questions, let me know and shoot me a message in the uh, comments below. The one thing I want to highlight that's really important is that I will upload the finished product files for this, but in addition to that, what you need to remember is that you need to get these starting files from the uh, the same way I got them. You're gonna go to chrisgergers.com slash intermediate tutorial files. It's, the link is in the description. And you're gonna download and use the V3 file, okay? All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.